Our family sure does love fresh homemade bread, and I'm guessing you do too since you're here. We're going to show you step by step how we make this very easy but delicious homemade bread. And after the video you can check out the description for all the ingredients and the appliances that we use. Let's get started by getting our water temperature to 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This is quite important certainly because we want to make sure the yeast is activated properly. Once we've got that temperature correct, we're going to grab one and three quarters cups of water and we're going to pour that directly into the bread pan for the bread maker. Here we're using a Breville bread machine. We're going to want to keep things going quickly here so the water doesn't cool down too much. So we have two and a half tablespoons of butter here and we're going to chop that into some small pieces and evenly disperse that on the bottom of the bread pan. Then we're going to immediately grab our salt and grab two and a half teaspoons of salt pouring that directly into our water and our butter mixture at the bottom of the bread pan. We have all of our ingredients strategically placed nearby so we can get to them quickly and that includes our sugar here which we add two and a half tablespoons of sugar right into the mixture. Alright next we've got our bread flour. We've got five cups of bread flour which we're going to pour directly into the bread pan as well. It can also sometimes be handy to have everything measured out beforehand so you're saving time and not letting that water cool down at all. We also have our next ingredient standing by. This is our instant dry milk. We need three and a half tablespoons of this. So let's get that added right here. The fantastic part of using this bread machine is you add these ingredients and then you just walk away. I got my wife this about three and a half years ago and she has been loving it ever since and it's the gift that keeps on giving. All right, Julia has grabbed her quarter ounce packet of active dry yeast. Let's make sure we're getting every bit of that into our pan. All right, we're gonna go to our Breville bread machine here and look at the settings. We're using basic, light crust, and since we've got a family of six, we're using a two and a half pound loaf. We're gonna add that bread pan assembly right into our bread maker. It fits into a nice little notch have that handle down and then we close it up and hit that start button. We're three hours and 10 minutes away from some amazing bread. Now if you love bread as much as we do, we invite you to hit that subscribe and like button and you'll be notified as we release new videos for bread and other fine recipes. Now one of the cool features of this Breville bread machine is this light that you can turn on and you can look inside and see exactly what's happening and you see the progress over the full three hours. It's pretty interesting to watch. And as your house starts smelling like some amazing bread, you keep wanting to look and see how much closer you are. Be sure to stick around to the end and we'll share with you the tool that we use for accurately and consistently slicing our bread. Now you can see how things are progressing here. Only an hour and 42 minutes left. Hey, now we're already down to 59 minutes and look at how beautiful that's starting to come along. 34 minutes left, let's take a look really quick. Oh, that's really grown nicely. That is looking great. Only four minutes left, let's take one last look through our fancy little window. Oh yeah. Okay, I can't wait any longer. Let's fast forward and get this bread out of there. All right, so once the timer is off, we can open up the lid and you wanna carefully grab that handle of the bread pan and pull that straight out. And then you can place that onto your bread cutting board. Let that slide out of the bread pan nicely. And then you can let that cool for about 10 minutes before you go into slicing. And this here is one of those moments where I really, really wish video could share the smell because this smells amazing every time. We're gonna slide this into our bread slicer here. And then she uses an electric knife and it goes right through those slots perfectly and you get a nice evenly sliced loaf just like that. We'll give you a link to this product in our description as well. It really makes life a lot easier. Once that's fully sliced, we'll move that over to our bread dish and let that aroma draw our family together. If you like bread, take a look at our banana bread video right here. And on the right side of the screen are two more options for you. We'll see you next time. God bless. Ba -ba -da -ba -da.